Assalamu alaikum dear students today we are going to draw the diagram of plant cell before drawing the diagram you are going to draw a beautiful and neat block for the diagram in the center of your page in the center that is two three lines above the block and two three lines below the block you are going to leave and then in the center you are going to draw the diagram beautifully now before drawing the diagram you are going to leave the place for labeling as we are drawing the diagram of a plant cell that is in your book you can see that this diagram is having labeling on both side so we are going to leave the place on both side of the diagram for labeling for that you are going to draw a light line on both side of the block for the labeling and the center this place will be used for the diagram over here we are going to draw the plant cell the plant cell if you observe in your book it is somewhat a rectangular in shape it's a rectangular structure and there is a central vacuole large vacuole now first of all we are going to draw two rectangles at a short distance from each other because this line we are going to make it cell wall and the inner line we are going to make it cell membrane and another rectangle we will draw in the center of this this rectangle now we are going to rub these corners of the rectangles like this just rub these corners as they are pointed but you can see in the book that these corners are not pointed over here they are blunt so we are going to make them blunt instead of being pointed like this with all four corners to give it a bit natural look then the diagram you can see over here it is having a little curvature the vacuole is also having a curvature so we are going to rub it over here you are also going to rub the corner of the central vacuole and this line too first of all make its corner blunt like this and then a curve you are going to draw a curve over here and same is the case a little curve the diagram must not be a ditto copy of your books diagram but it should be similar to the diagram that is given in your book a bit similar so now it is not necessary that your central vacuole should look like this because if you are going to open the net and other books there are so many diagrams of the plant cell in which the central vacuole is drawn like this so it's also okay over here you are going to draw the nucleus it can be like this you are not going to use the compass for making this circle because it's not that uh, circular in shape over here you are going to draw a circle for this 
then you are going to draw now this is what we call this over here drus crystal drus crystal you are going to draw a circle for this and you are making it a bit spiny as if spines are arising from the structure drus crystal is actually what we call drus crystal it's a group of crystals group of calcium oxalate crystals in the center or on the side of nucleus you are going to draw nucleolus now in the vacuole you can see there are graphite crystals for that you are going to draw 1 2 3 at least four but these should be a bit narrow these lines should be close to each other and then you are going to join their ends like this so these are the graphite crystal you are going to draw one two graphite crystals beside this as it's shown in the diagram then in the diagram the other organelles are being given like you can see 1 2 3 4 all these are chloroplast but you are not going to draw four chloroplast 1 2 3 mitochondria we are going to draw only one mitochondria and the mitochondria drawn in this diagram is very easy it's not 3d you are going to draw it like this and then in the center and you are going to shade it as it is shaded in your book similarly you are going to draw oval structure another oval structure for chloroplast and in chloroplast you are going to draw two grana and connect these two grana with a line which we call intergrana and then you are going to draw another oval structure in this oval structure you are going to draw lines and lightly shade it this is a myeloblast for <coughs> golgi bodies see it's very easy with a curve not straight but with a curve the first one is longer than this one and the last one is shorter than all of these and over here golgi vesicles then from the nucleus that is the nuclear membrane you are going to extend the endoplasmic reticulum in this way it is given on both side it's not necessary that you are going to draw it on both side if you are not having time for drawing like so you are going to draw all the necessary organelles which are present in the cell after this you are going to label the diagram so for labeling the best way for labeling the diagram is that uh, you are going to use the pointer and we are going to start from the cell wall the outermost lining this is cell wall then we are going to as we are having only one mitochondria we have drawn so then we are going to label the mitochondria try to draw the neat lines make it an arrow at the end of this line and your arrow should not exceed this line which you have drawn for the labeling 
so similarly you are going to draw all these lines like cell wall so you are going to double underline the labeling of cell wall and you are going to write with the pointer in capital letter cell wall in this way the structures which are close to the lines first we are going to label them we are going to use the other side for the structures which are on the side so in this way we are going to label the plant cell neatly as i have already labeled it so you are going to label it like this hopefully you have understand understood the procedure which i have discussed with you people of drawing a neat and label diagram of plant cell take care